Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We just did a couple of talking points heading into the Big Ten season. I think we'll likely do one more Big Ten segment tomorrow because there is a couple more that I want to break down around Washington, around Wisconsin, some different teams that I feel like deserve a little bit of love in this uh, conversation. But let's get into segment four and let's talk about the best weeks in the 2024 season. There are some really good ones. Uh, Frankly, there is the best collection of college football games I have ever seen in this upcoming season. I'll be totally honest with you. This uh, one week that I'm going to break down here in a second is just as beautiful as it gets. I'll be totally honest. Um, I absolutely love it. So let's get into this. And week seven is just different. Uh, it, It truly is just all over the place. Just incredible. It's out of this world how many great games are out there. I mean, Ole Miss LSU is an absolutely huge game. I think there's so many games in the SEC this upcoming year. Georgia plays Bama, Ole Miss, Texas. Texas plays Georgia, obviously. They got Oklahoma. They have to go to A&M. There are games where you have the big dogs, and they could easily get slipped up. This could be the game that decides who's the second team in Atlanta, Um, and that would be a huge thing for LSU. Obviously, getting this at home is huge, but there's going to be a lot of as we like to say it in college football, cannibalism in this conference. And I think this game could be one of the most important when we look back at the SEC season. Florida uh, at Tennessee is one of those that just, this is a great rivalry. These two teams absolutely hate each other. Florida has, frankly, really controlled this rivalry for quite, excuse me, for quite some time. And uh, they want to continue to do that. Uh, They kind of want to throw a wrench into Tennessee's works and, As I look through the uh, Florida schedule, they play just an incredibly tough schedule all across. They're going to get one of these games. I'm not confident that it's going to be at Tennessee. It might be Georgia. It might be Texas. It might be one of those other teams. But I can almost promise you Florida's going to clip one of these teams. Um, And it's going to come as a surprise whenever it happens. But I do believe that Florida has enough guys to make some things happen. And then you have the main event. Ohio State at Oregon is just going to be incredible. Um, It's obviously the first time they're playing as conference foes, but they played not too long ago and split that series and don't necessarily love each other because of that series. So I think there will be a little bit of energy behind that one. If both walk in undefeated, which I tend to expect them to be undefeated when they walk in there, it's going to be one of the best games in all of the season of college football. There's no two ways about that. Then you have Texas-Oklahoma, the first SEC uh, Red River rivalry, and wow, that really rolled out weird. Um, but uh, Texas and OU, I think I've talked about this a little bit on here, but I think once they get in front of some SEC eyes, people are going to realize just how special this one is. Um, this one is totally different than any other rivalry we have in college football, and at that 330 slot, Let's just say the fans are going to be plenty hydrated for this one, um, or a little bit dehydrated, but that's beside the point. Then uh, you have some other games. You have, uh, I totally forgot we had pictures. There's an LSU Ole Miss picture, Um, but let's get into USC and Penn State. This one is very interesting because Penn State's heading all the way down to Southern California to play a conference game. Not one that I'm going to be used to. There's no two ways about that. So that'll be very, very interesting to watch. I think there's another game like we talked about yesterday with Penn State and West Virginia. Penn State's got to win this one. And they don't necessarily have to win it by a ton and dominate USC by any means. But they got to prove that they're a step above them. There's no two ways about that. Um, But then you also have South Carolina at Bama. You have at KSU Colorado, Iowa State, West Virginia, Washington, Iowa, Memphis, uh, USF is going to be incredible. Coastal Carolina against JMU. So many great games in this week, and I just cannot wait. I think this is the best week of the entire season, and it's followed very closely up by Week 11. I I think this one's absolutely awesome. This was the one I was fighting between Week 9 and Week 11 here, but I landed on Week 11 because of some of the depth in the uh the games that might not be in the top five here but you have some of the other games on this uh, in this group are Mississippi State heading to Tennessee you have Duke at NC State Miami at Tech is going to be a very interesting one for Miami where they could get slipped up by that Georgia Tech team and then you have Washington Penn State another one that why are they playing a conference game that far away but that's beside the point Florida at Texas is going to be awesome Fresno State at Air Force and then App State at Coastal Carolina all of those are just going to be really great games but the top five the top one is Alabama at LSU Uh, I'll just be totally honest this one has a juice behind it that kind of like that UGA game where 
kind of like every single game that Alabama is going to play this year. I'll be totally honest. Everyone wants to take down Alabama this year in particular because they want to prove that the Saban era is over. They want to prove that Saban was the thing that was standing in between them and beating Alabama. Not the, you know, team in front of them, not the energy, but it was that guy. And now that that guy is in the stands and not on the sideline, you're going to be more than fine. Now, we'll see if that ends up happening for a lot of these teams. I frankly think a lot of them are going to be very disappointed with uh, that idea. But the reality is this is a huge game for LSU. If they can get that win, then it'll be very interesting conversations. I'll put it that way. But another huge one is Georgia at Ole Miss. This is a week where you're going to see a lot of the SEC be kind of decided in some ways on this week. If Georgia wins, if Bama wins, um, I think LSU and Ole Miss are likely out of the fight for the SEC title. So this will be a very, very interesting one. I think Ole Miss has a chance to get that marquee win that they really haven't had since those Bama wins back in the day. And I think they're well equipped to just go play Georgia, to not be afraid of the team that's walking in. And obviously, you're going to, you know, lace your shoes a little bit tighter that day there's no two ways about that but it doesn't change that Ole Miss thinks they can just hang with this team now and that wasn't the case a couple of years ago that wasn't even the case last year so it'll be fascinating to watch that game the one I'm so excited for Oklahoma at Missouri I just cannot wait for I think this one is going to be a rivalry going forward because they hate each other there's no two ways about that I talked about Texas and A&M that one coming back is absolutely incredible no one takes a back seat to Texas Texas A&M but this one is right there it, it is second in line and not far behind the Texas Texas A&M one by any means so very excited to see that one get underway Florida State at Notre Dame is an awesome game this week, and it's a funny game because it's not a conference game, so Florida State might not need it quite as much. Notre Dame, I would argue, really needs it because this game, along with the A&M game, are the two that I think, if Notre Dame wins those, they're in a very good position to make the playoff. If they don't, then we're having a conversation of, are they really a top 12 team or are they just a team that beats up on everyone below them and can't beat the people in front of them? So it'll be really interesting to kind of see that one develop because I think Notre Dame as of right now, I would say has the better team. I think Florida State has a lot of the confidence coming into that game and a lot of the swagger and the defense to definitely keep up with anyone in the country. Um, and then finally, another ACC battle uh, Clemson going to Virginia Tech is going to be one of the biggest games of the year. Um, Virginia Tech, I think, could walk into this game undefeated. If they go down to Miami and beat uh, Miami, which they definitely can do, this one's going to be two undefeated teams, and it, or not two undefeated teams. Clemson will lose in Week 1 to uh, Georgia, but regardless, this is going to be two very good teams, and it's going to be just incredible to watch. Just cannot wait for what's going to uh, happen during that game, and I think... If Virginia Tech comes out a winner, then that might just be your ACC champion. But let's get on to Week 14, the rivalry week. It's still just incredible across the board. Uh, the Iron Bowl obviously is going to be awesome. As we talked about with LSU, Auburn wants to do the exact same. They want to knock off Bama. They want to kind of flip the script a little bit in Kalen DeBoer's first year. And they got really close a year ago. So let's see what happens there this year. Florida uh, Florida at Florida State is obviously going to be a huge one to watch. Definitely one that could be huge for two different reasons. Florida State could be looking for another undefeated season. Florida could be fighting for bull eligibility. And Billy Napier could be fighting for his job. So it'll be a fascinating game once it gets here. There's no two ways about that. The game is always awesome. There's no two ways. It's just absolutely incredible. Michigan at Ohio State is going to be everything this upcoming season. It's the game that... I'm most excited for. I think it's the single most important game this season, not just because of the on-field implications, but the off-field implications might be that much more important. So it's going to be absolutely incredible to watch that game and see if Michigan can continue this run that they're on. And then Texas, Texas A&M. This is one that I've talked about a lot, but I might be most excited for this game over any other game this entire season because this is a group of people that just hate each other top to bottom. Um, they hate everything about the other fan base, and it's going to be awesome to see these two meet for the first time in quite some time. It's been just way too long uh, since these two teams have played, and Cowfield is going to be on fire that night. That, that is for sure. But uh, finally, Notre Dame at USC. Uh, this is one that Colin Coward want done away with. He's wrong about that, but that's beside the point. Uh, this one's going to be really, really fun. Uh, this could be the moment that Notre Dame makes the playoff. Uh, say they have one loss going into this week, and the one loss is to A&M. 
if they win this game, they're in at 11-1. and one. So this could be the moment they get in. Maybe USC ruins the fun and beats them and knocks them out of the playoffs. So it'll be really, really fascinating to watch that game. Absolutely love that game and the history behind that one. You also have Tech at UGA. Oklahoma State's playing Colorado on that day instead of OU, which is gross, but will be a very fun game nonetheless. Memphis at Tulane is going to be a huge one uh, for the American. South Carolina, Clemson, Washington uh, at Oregon, K- uh, KSU at, I- at Iowa State. So obviously a ton of big time games in that rivalry week, but a couple other ones, week one, week nine, week nine, you could have argued is better than week 11. I kind of was fighting between two, uh, a rock and a hard place there, but overall, there's so many good weeks this year. Uh, college football is going to be absolutely incredible week in, week out. There's going to be new matchups. There's going to be matchups that you usually would have kind of duds of weeks. Oregon and Ohio State is going to be dropped in your lap. Or uh, Washington playing Penn State is going to be dropped in your lap, and it's going to be a really, really interesting thing to watch. So I love this season that's coming up. I think it's going to be the craziest one since 2007, and it's shaping up to have some of the craziest weeks, that's for sure. So we'll break down all of those as they kind of unfold throughout the season. But let's take our final break here. And when we come back, it's Top 10 Tuesday time. And we're going to get into the appointment television players as I see it in college football. There are so many of these guys, so figuring out just 10 was not easy. But I like my 10. I think it's a good group of guys and definitely guys that if they're on TV, you're going to want to watch them. So stick with us and we'll break that down right after this.